Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Math Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Math DC. Today uh, we are going to discuss a new topic that's Down syndrome or trisomy 21. So it's a it's the commonest chromosomal disorder in children, and also there now our main name is to describe. Uh, radiological features let's see system by system first the central nervous system so one uh, abnormality is cerebellar or and vermian hypoplasia another feature is uh, moya moya syndrome that means there's occlusion or narrowing of the circle of willis in the cerebral vascular system another abnormality is inner ear abnormalities there are semicircular canal and uh, cochlear abnormalities can occur. Uh, hippocampal volume loss is also an abnormality. Then now an next one is uh, cardiovascular system abnormalities. The most common one is atrioventricular septal defects. Then next comes uh, ASDs. Next VSDs. Then let's talk about uh, RS problems. Palmer hypoplasia or lung volume loss can occur. Then pulmonary cyst or subplural cyst is also uh, another problem. Next one is pig bronchus. That means there is uh, uh, the, the upper lobe bronchus directly arising from the trachea. It is called pig bronchus. Uh, next see the GIT problems. One is tracheoesophageal fistula with esophageal atresia. Then dodinal atresia you will see double bubble appearance. Then anal atresia, diaphragmatic hernia is also another feature in neonates. Next is uh, Hirschsprung disease, that means a ganglionic segments in rectum extending to the colon. Another one is uh, omphalocele, that means kind of a uh, bowel herniation outside the umbilicus. And also musculoskeletal problems can occur. 11 ribs is another feature. Then to axial subluxations can occur. Then development dysplasia of the hip. Also, there will be hypoplastic posterior arch of uh, atlas. Hypersegmented sternum is also a feature. And uh, in children, there will be a Mickey Mouse pelvis or so flaring of the iliac wings. Another one is uh, clinodactyly. And uh, sometimes uh, congenital hypothyroidism or absent thyroid gland will also be seen. We have to do a ultrasound of the neck in in that case. Let's see some imaging findings. First, you can. This is the invertebrate. So, child is kind of uh, upside down. Here you can see the you can see a marker here, like a coin. So you don't see the distal uh, anal air. Yeah. So there's cut off of the air column. So there's anal atresia or oh, sometimes imperforated anus. So atresia is kind of a low anal atresia. So you can see distal air column. Yeah. So there's bowel obstruction also due to anal atresia. So my dilated bowel loops you can see. So it's a inotogram. Side is upside down. And this is the marker of the opening of the anus. So another x-ray, this is a kind of a babygram. Uh, you can see the coiling of the NG tube. So there's esophageal atresia. And you don't see bowel gas here. Yeah, you don't see bowel gas. So there's possible uh, no fistula or but there's a esophageal atresia. Fistula tract possibly not there. And uh, so there's esophageal atresia. Then next one is this also baby gum. You can see double bubble appearance. This is the distended stomach. And this is the distended upper part or first part of the duodenum. So it's a double bubble atresia, double bubble appearance due to duodenal atresia. So this is the 
endotracheal tube these are few lines uh, you can see umbilical arterial and venous catheters you can see and uh, so another one uh, the lower gi contrast study here yeah. it's example for her strong disease you can see the narrow rectum but glossy distended sigmoid colon you can see so rectum is the rectal sigmoid ratio is reversed usually rectum is larger than the sigmoid colon but in this case uh, sigmoid colon is larger than the rectum so there's reverse rectal sigmoid ratio so it's like example for her strong disease causing uh, low gi or bowel obstruction this large bowel obstruction is there in this case you have to see that whether there are any uh, sacral agenesis or uh, vertebral coronal abnormalities you have to check there's associated uh, problems in vectoral abnormalities so it's uh, another uh, chest x-ray chest x-ray and also the abdomen upper abdomen is also included here here you can see the ng tube yeah it's in the left uh, lung field in re in relation to like left lung field so you can see some uh, lucencies here continuous with the bowel shadows or bowel lucencies so there's uh, congenital diaphragmatic hernia and also there's media sternal shift to the left side so this example for diaphragmatic hernia which is seen in down syndrome patients so this is another one another x-ray baby gram you can see large rounded opacity uh, projecting from the abdomen so you can see some bowel lucencies bowel shadows within the opacity so it's kind of a uh, omphalocyte so ng tube also on the right side so probably there's stomach is also herniated to the sac so this is omphalocyte which can be seen in down syndrome the another one is you can see the dilated grossly dilated heart in the child and also superior medial sternum is also somewhat dilated so this is atrioventricular septal defects causing dilatation or cardiomegaly in the child so there are no complicating features like uh, pulmonary edema no pleural effusions so basically there's dilated uh, heart and also some probably dilated vessels also they are in the superior mediastinum this is also a frontal chest radiograph in a child you can see there are lucencies peripherally multiple lucencies so these are subpleural cyst formation in a down syndrome patient you can see subpleural cyst formation so this is the ng tube so it's a another feature this can also occur in uh, bronchopulmonary dysplasia pulmonary interstitial emphysema like conditions mimic this pulmonary cyst in a neonate who has been ventilated so this is a mickey mouse pelvis the frontal radiograph of the pelvis center of the radiograph of the pelvis you can see flaring of the iliac veins giving rise to mickey mouse ears so it is also seen in down syndrome mickey mouse pelvis so this is the lateral radiograph of the cervical spine so you can see atlantic subluxation the gap of the uh, atlas and the axis are increased so dense dense of the axis and anterior arch of the atlas the gap is increased so there's atlantic subluxation which is also seen in down syndrome next thing is this the anterior posterior radiograph of the hand in a child so you can see the ulnar deviation of the fifth sorry radial deviation of the 
fifth uh, finger or little finger there's radial deviation so it is deviated to the radial side because there's a problem in the uh, middle phalanx of the little finger so it is called this kind of hypoplastic middle phalanx of the little finger it is called clinodactyly so it's another feature of down syndrome so that concludes down syndrome video in our radiology made dc please subscribe our youtube channel then you will get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos thank you everyone thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this